tell me that uh, Jimmy Kimmel tweeted something and tried to delete it? Yeah, it looks like I could be wrong about this, but Kimmel was pissed at Musk. Why? For buying Twitter. But uh, what does he care? <coughs> what is he mad about? So basically, like, a lot of people seem to be really upset with Elon for buying Twitter because Elon is saying that he's not going to censor Twitter anymore. He's going to, like, let, you know, all the banned people are going to get back on, apparently. You know, it's like they're trying to figure it out, how to do it. And so this has upset a lot of people who were happy with the idea that it was being, like, hyper-moderated in a way, I think, that fits in with their politics. Yes. Right? That was the idea. That's so it's like, idea. So, like, their team was in control for a second, and now somebody... You know what it reminds me of? It's like when a new booker shows up at a comedy club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and all the comics start talking shit. It's, like, scary. Uh, it has been interesting over the years to watch you blossom from the electric car guy into a fully formed piece of shit. Wow. And look, see, it says this tweet was deleted by the tweet author. Learn more. He what? was uh, replying to a tweet that Elon tweeted. That and what was, was the that tweet? Elon deleted, which I think oh, was the thing. that was a tweet where it's this, uh, it's like the Santa Monica Observer or something like that was tweeting something about the Paul Pelosi attack. And that Santa Monica Observer has been known to tweet things that are, aren't that aren't correct, or at least has, or not tweet, publish things that aren't correct. At least has in one instance that they were citing, something about Hillary Clinton. I don't know, but you know, he. I think what Elon tweeted was there's a tiny chance that we might not be getting the full story, and then he tweeted that story. Yeah, and th this is the idea that maybe Paul Pelosi knew this guy because people have been trying to pin that guy and say that he was a, a right wing MAGA guy. But didn't he live in like some fucking hippie collective and he, he made like hemp jewelry? He did woo to Q pipeline. He went woo to Q. So like he apparently he had some kind of uh, blog or something. I think he started off woo, super hippie, ayahuasca mystical and then gradually kind of devolved into q q anon he, q anon the best analysis i saw of it was a reporter saying that what the real story here is not like uh is, is that this there's people who are psychotic all over san francisco from uh, doing so much speed meth drugs that's the real story the real story is that all over like the great cities of America, people are like high as a fucking kite and have been for so long that they're like spinning out of control. And that, that's what it is. That's the story of stories is like, yeah, sure. This guy went woo to Q, very common, it happens. You start off, you're like into like taking supplements that leads to a new supplement you've never heard of. That leads to like some weird website you go to. The next thing you know, you're rubbing weird balm all over your body <laughs> with a under a crystal still fine still cool but somewhere along the way you you get on like one of these slides that lead you down into Q and then the next thing you know you're like completely like deep in that so that's what i've heard he's woo to Q woo to oh, Q pipeline